Hi, welcome to this Ustream video tutorial that's going to help you get started, show you how you can sign up, and then we're going to do a quick start broadcasting. We're going to show you how easy it is to start broadcasting. First thing to do is open up an internet browser. I'm going to use Firefox. Go to the web address ustream.tv, so it's www.ustream.tv, and then click on sign up. If it's your first time visiting the site, you need to create an account. Pretty standard account creation. Choose a login name, choose a password, verify the password, input your birth date, the year that you were born, the month that you were born, and the day that you were born. Then you input your email address. And you verify that you are a human being by entering the CAPTCHA. So you look at the graphic and type it in. And make sure you, that you click on I agree to the terms of use and click on submit. Then you'll reach another screen that asks for your first name, which you'll type in, your last name, whether you are male or female, your country, your zip code, and what city you're in. And then you click on Submit. And that's it. Now you're signed on and you're actually almost ready to broadcast. You can skip the next screen and go back and fill in that information later. You can click on Broadcast Now and you can get started just this quickly. So after you click on Broadcast Now, the very first time you do that, you will have to name your broadcast show. So you got to choose a name for your show. Choose this show name carefully. So I'm going to call mine Leon Letkeman and click on Broadcast Now. Wait a little bit for things to load. And now I can go back to the Broadcast Now green button. Click on it. And I'm almost ready to go. You can enter your Twitter account information if you want. I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm going to skip that. And you need to choose a category for your show. So you look at the great big long list of categories and choose which one is most appropriate. I'm going to choose life broadcasting because this is just a broadcast of my life right now. So I click on the category. And now, I'm almost ready to go. Adobe Flash plugin will load. And it'll ask you for permission to use your camera and your microphone. So when it does this, just click on Allow so that it allows use of your microphone and your cameras. And now, we are ready to broadcast. I'm going to go out of the video screen for a second and show you that what I'm doing in this video tutorial is using just a simple little webcam. And I'm also using a DV camera hooked up by Firewire. So this is an external camera, one of those digital video tape cameras that I can plug into my computer through a Firewire cable. And now we are almost ready to start broadcasting. The first thing to make sure is that you have chosen the camera that you want. I have two cameras hooked up, so I need to make sure that I've chosen the right camera. If you click on this tab, you can see a list of cameras. I could switch to the DV video camera. Now we see the view through that camera. And at any time, I can switch back in between cameras. I could go back to the USB camera if I wanted to. And now you see the view through the USB camera. You also need to make sure that you are choosing the right audio input. So choose the audio input from the list that you want your audio to come from. I'm going to use the iMic USB audio system. And we are ready to broadcast. When you click on the big green button that says Start Broadcast, you are broadcasting. Now we are broadcasting. We're broadcasting live to the world. To see the broadcast, click on this little button. When you click on this button, it'll take you in your browser to the URL of the broadcast. So this is the web page and this is the URL of your broadcast. You can copy and paste this URL 
and email it to people or post it on the, your web page. But this is the URL of your broadcast. So you can copy in, paste that, and send it along to your viewers. I'm going to go up to the window and I'm going to switch back to our control console. Something to be aware of when you are broadcasting with Ustream is your video quality and your audio quality. You can adjust these with sliders. The higher the video quality, the better the picture will look if your audience can download it fast enough. Of course, the higher the video quality, the more bandwidth your audience will need in order to see it. So if you are broadcasting in an area where you know your audience has high bandwidth, you can set a high video quality. But if you know your audience has low bandwidth, then you should set your video quality lower. Now if I move the console window a little bit, you can see both windows. You can see the control window here, and you can also see what the world sees down here. I can set the video quality to be higher. If I go from 50% up to 95%, you will see a difference in the broadcast window, in what the world sees. But the payoff there is it may be choppy and start and stop for those people with low bandwidth. And those are the basics to Ustream. You now know enough to get started. When you're ready to quit, all you have to do is click on Stop Broadcast. And we'll get into more details in later videos.